I know what some of y'all are probably thinking. Where the hell you been at? First of all, I just want to apologize. My bad for the late video. I'm, I'm a whole 24, almost 48 hours late now. But better late than never. I'm here now. If you've been waiting on my reaction, welcome. If you're looking for a first reaction, I'm going to keep it real. I already heard it. I definitely been listening to this all weekend. And we about to discuss it nonetheless okay now i wasn't gonna leave y'all hanging i wasn't gonna just not do a video on it now i'm gonna keep it real in my defense in my defense i knew the deluxe was coming he said 14 tracks was coming i got amped up i said okay i'm definitely about to go crazy he's putting all the snippets that we've been waiting for on one album which he calls Lil uzi vert versus the world part two instead of just the deluxe edition for eternal would take he made it into a double album which is crazy in itself so i said okay I'm, i know it's coming he said it's coming on friday i'm gonna react now friday night well thursday night technically it was thursday night and it was about 11 50 i set the computer up i set the camera up i said okay i'm about to react as soon as it hit 12 on the dot i got on apple music and i checked and I ain't seen nothing. I seen a post that said, 8 a.m. tomorrow, Uzi's dropping. Just be ready. I said, okay. So it's coming in the morning. I start work at 8 a.m. Every day, okay? So basically what they telling me is the album's dropping at 8 a.m. when I get to work. And y'all thought I was just going to wait all day until what? What time I get off? 4.30? And then I won't get home till like 5, 5.30, depending if I got something else to do. So you telling me this heat is going to be sitting on my phone all day and I ain't going to push play on that near one song. And these are songs I wanted so long. I waited so long for these songs. Come on, man. I had to listen to it, man. I was at work. I was bored. We ain't had no work to do. I'm just sitting there. I'm like, man, everybody talking about it. I got to hear it. I wanted to talk to y'all about Eternal with Take anyway. I wanted to update y'all on how I feel about Eternal with Take after a week of listening to it. Because the first reaction when I listened to it, I was a little underwhelmed. It, it didn't live up to the hype of what I expected it to be. Mostly because I expected a lot of these songs to be on it. Let's just talk about the deluxe. Lil Uzi Vert vs. The World Part 2. Let's get into it. Track number one. Myron. How do we plan it? This thing on weird and they don't really like me. Cause I can fuck your bitch and fuck your mom and auntie. Your girls will fight but your mom is a dime when that first song hit, when Myron hit, yo, let me tell you something. It lived up to every expectation I had for it. I already, I'm sure everybody who's a true Uzi fan, they heard the snippet already. Come on, you knew what to expect. We knew it was going to be fire. We heard like a whole minute of the song already. So as soon as it dropped, I felt like I already knew the lyrics. I'm sitting there rapping along to it. And it's the first time I'm ever hearing the song, the real original song. I know it word for word up until a certain point where he adds like the second verse and the the bridge and chorus, whatever at the end or whatever. But um, it's fire. Track number two is Lotus. Okay, we're going to listen to this too. Hold on. I got a demon in the engine, I did it all night. When the song first started playing, and I'm sure real Uzi fans, y'all heard the snippet already. So we knew what to expect. We feel like we knew the words already. Another song where I feel like I knew the words. I got to rub it on my skin. You know what I mean? Singing at her like boys the men. Yeah, we knew what to expect. But I'm going to keep it real with this one. It was a little bit underwhelming when the beat dropped, okay? I don't know if y'all peeped it, but like I peeped it. When it dropped, it didn't hit that hard. It ain't hit as hard as what it sound like it did when he was in his car with Thug next to him and they was dancing around to it. It ain't hit it. It ain't hit the same. You know what I mean? It feels like the beat isn't complete. Like they didn't. I feel like it's unfinished. It's, it feels like the song is unfinished. Like he hurry up and threw it out. Like I knew y'all wanted this song last minute. Give it to him. It's like, no, take your time. Mix the song. Edit the song. Make sure turn the bass up. You got to make sure the levels is right because the the bass is just kind of hollow. It's like, boom, boom, boom. Like, I want it to, boom, boom, boom. Like, I'm, I'm expecting it to knock. It did not knock. 
It was kind of plain. The, the sounds was a little too low. His voice was way louder. It was just not mixed like I wanted it. But the song is still dope nonetheless. Um, The lyrics, everything, like the flow of it, the melody, it's still catchy. It's, it's fire. The song is fire. I just wish it hit harder. Now, track number three is Bean. AKA Kobe featuring Chief Keef. I know a lot of y'all wanted that song. I'm gonna keep it real. I was never too hyped for that song. I seen the snippet that they put out like a year or two ago. And it was dope. It was dope. Like I was like, okay, it's, it sound cool. Like, sound like a cool track, but like, I'm not the biggest Chief Keef fan. I, I just wasn't too hyped for the track. You know what I mean? But um, this joint hit. I didn't. I didn't really didn't even care about the snippet that much. But when I heard this, this is fire. <laughs> this song is fire. The bass knock. I played it in the whip. It, it, it passed the whip test. It knocks. Chief Keith didn't sound too bad on it. Um, Uzi killed his verse. I thought it was a dope track. Track number four was Yes Sir Ski featuring Twenty One Savage. I don't think this was a snippet at all. This was just a random track thrown out. That song is fire. I'm going to keep it real. 21 killed his verse. And I thought he was way better than Uzi on this joint. It felt like a 21 song. Like 21 could have just used this for his album. And it would have just... You might as well just gave that to him. <laughs> you know what I mean? I really didn't. You know. But like the song is fire. The song is definitely fire. I rock with it heavy. Um... Definitely a dope track. Track number five is What's Up featuring Future. Ain't no way I'm from outer space, so you know that Annie has been sending me. Yes, I walk around pocket, I got bank account. If you wanna catch up, me like killing me. Everybody know I come from outer space. I got racist me, you do not want. First time I heard that, I was a little underwhelmed. I'm gonna keep it real. I wasn't that hyped about it. Like, it came on. And, and mind you, I'm listening to it through headphones. I'm sitting at work. You know, I'm, I got my headphones on. It ain't like I'm in the whip and it's dumping. And I can enjoy every sound and everything. It was just, it was the headphone test. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So when it first came on, I was like, nah, it's cool. It's cool. You know, it's all right, track. But it hit a little bit different when I start seeing, like I start seeing people talking about the song. This one, they pointed this one out. Out of all the songs, they was like, this one. It's like, God like it. Like, he just hit different. I'm like, what? Why? I came back later. I said, let me listen to that joint again. Let me, let me really, like, I thought it was a cool track. It wasn't whack. It just hit different at like seven in the afternoon when the sun is starting to set a little bit. The wind is blowing a little harder. It's getting a little chilly and you just, you just feeling the breeze. And then the song just hit different. Like the sounds and everything just hit different. This on fire, y'all. <laughs> Trend number six on here is Strawberry Pills featuring Young Thug and Gunna. This is a banger. This is a banger. I knew it as soon as the beat is up. Oh. Come on. Hey. Yeah, I'm on a drink. I'm about to kill. I got the drop. I got the kill. Taking a bitch. I got the seal. As soon as I got out of work. The first thing I did was hop in the whip and cut this on right here. This song is hard. I'm not even going to lie. This was my favorite joint. up Like, the first time I listened to it, when I got to this track, I couldn't get past it. I know it's a banger when I get stuck on the song. Like, when you get to a song and you don't want to go to the next song yet, you're like, nah, run that back. It's fine. This was the one. For a minute, I said, this is fire. Track number seven is I Can Show You. Like, nothing is whack about the song. I don't think it's whack. It just didn't hit as hard as the songs before it. Like, maybe if I would have just heard this song without anything else. If Uzi would have just been like, yo, I'm going to drop a, a random song. Wow, here you go. I would have been like, you know, this is dope. But after hearing Strawberry Pills and then listening to, like, I'm still thinking about Myron and Lotus and the songs that I really wanted and... You know, the songs everybody's really hyped for when they seen the track listing. This song right here was a little underwhelming. Track number eight, Moon Relay. I tweeted Uzi so many times over the last few years to drop this track, yo. I asked him, can you just email me? Just me. I won't leak it, I promise. Unless you tell me to, I'll put it out right now. <sighs> But I just want to hear it just one time. And when it dropped, I'm going to keep it real. It was fire. But it was a little underwhelming. And the reason I got to say it was a little underwhelming, it sounds exactly like 
the 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 version that's on YouTube where they took like his the the um his Instagram live video that he did and they put it over they like recreated the beat of what they thought it was going to sound like when it when it came out and it was literally the exact same thing when I heard the track it's the exact beat whoever recreated the beat like I think the beat's going to sound like this when he dropped the official joint it is that <laughs> maybe they must have maybe they had the exact beat or something but whoever did that who is his name Amine or something I think it's Amine. He got his own channel. Uh, he do Uzi snippets and he put his own beat over it and like turn the bass up to the snippets so that we could kind of feel like we got the original track, but it's not the original track still. But his version was just like this version. And that's what disappointed me because I was thinking the sounds was going to be louder and it was going to sound real atmospheric and it's going to feel like I'm out of space and the moon is right behind my head as I'm Millie Rocket. Like, nah. It wasn't that. It was the sounds was mad low. It was mixed trash. The bass was real hollow. Like just like Lotus. It didn't punch. It felt like he rushed it. Like, yo, this ain't the official version, but I know y'all want it. So just I don't got time to mix it. Just throw it out. Do not do that. Do not do that. Take your time and mix it properly. Make them perfect. We could have waited another week if you needed it. <laughs> Because it was a little underwhelming. I just wanted something different. The song is fire, nonetheless. The melody is fire. It's catchy. It's stuck in your head. It's not the same. I'm from every side of the day. I get the girl in my race. I get the girl in my race. And it's basically bad. Super geek dog walking on the tightrope. Just the fact that I wanted it so bad and I got it, I, I'm appreciative. If he was ever to update the, update the song and like put it out again, like my bad y'all, here's the remix. Like I, I mixed it again. It's louder now. Here you go. I would definitely be hype and go crazy, but I'm cool with this. If, if this is all we getting, bet. Track number nine caught me off guard though. I'm gonna keep it real. Track number nine has come this way. I didn't know the difference. I, I remember hearing the snippet. I remember that. And I loved the snippet. I used to listen to the snippet all the time. However, I didn't know. I was thinking Come This Way was actually Trapped This Way. I'm going to keep it real. I thought Trapped This Way was like, we got all the fun. Check it this way. I thought that was Come This Way. I was getting them mixed up. So when I seen Come This Way, then Trapped This Way, I was confused at what was what. But I didn't think Come This Way, the actual song, I didn't think that was this. I don't know what it was. I thought that was Trapped This Way. And I thought Trapped This Way was something completely different that i never heard before. I thought it was a random song. But when it dropped, it caught me off guard. I was like, damn, this is that one song I used to love. And this one hit my soul. Hey. This one lived up to the hype for me. This one actually lived up to the hype. Like, I was surprised. I said, wow, this nigga really went back to, like, 2016 and pulled that out the stash and actually dropped it. And I should have I should have expected it because he did Moon Relate. Moon Relate is from back then, too. But it's so fire to me. Like, it's catchy. It's melodic. This is what I wanted on Eternal Take. That's all I want. <sighs> Track number 10 was Trapped This Way. That's the one that a lot of people was waiting for. We got all the fun to get this. Like, uh, we got all the... Uh, li listen to this, though. Come this way. We got all the fun. Drop it this way. We got all the one. Shake it this way. Bitch, diamonds on my arm. Yeah, my wrist I was very underwhelmed. Very underwhelmed. I was hyped that we had the track finally. I'm hyped I can finally hear what has been amped up for so long. But I feel like they put a false narrative on it. Like when you hear the snippet and you see the videos of him dancing in the bathroom or you even see E and Connor and the whip dancing, doing his little dance to it. They turned the bass up real high and the song was sped up a little bit. So in your head, you think it's going to be a little bit faster and the beat is going to punch. And then you get it and it's slowed down and the beat, the bass is not as hard as you think it's going to be. I played it in the whip. I turned the bass all the way up. The bass is real wobbly. Like, I, I don't know how to explain it. It's like, that's bad mixing right there. The beat don't sound complete. It's not knocking right. 
it was another disappointment but i'm still hyped for the track the track is fire please don't get it twisted the track is fire i'm still dancing i'm still hyped it's just not hitting like you thought it was going to based off the snippet because you for real for it's your fault it's uzi's fault you play you in the car dancing you in the bathroom doing whole dance sessions to it and when we get it it's a whole different track. It's it's like a couple BPM slower. It's it, the bass is turned way down. Your vocals is way louder than the beat. And you're like, yo, what is this? This ain't what I thought it was going to be. But it's still fire. Chart number 11 was no auto featuring Lil Durk. First of all, the beat slaps. The beat slaps. Not only did the beat slap, but it, as soon as it dropped, I was like, wait a minute. This sound like that old Lil Wayne song. This sound like... Birdman JR. That's the first thing that caught my attention. It's a slap. It's a slap. And they both killed it. They both killed it. I thought Dirk kind of outshined him. He came, it, it, he set the foundation. He came in real, real evil. He gave us that no auto Dirk. When he go no auto Dirk and he go demonic with it, like watch the side block. I hit up that main street. When he start talking like that, I'm like, oh my God. Where's my ski mask? Track number 12 is Money Spread. Featuring young nudie. No, I cannot, I can beat it out. Put it in and she's screaming, I take it out. I'm just no feelings with no own relations now. I had got money, then took the paper out. I deposit it until I'm not saving now. Get hit with a charge, my boy gon' take it now. Uzi killed it. Nudie did what he always do. The, the beat fit nudie though. The beat was knocking. I always tell y'all, I rock with nudie as long as the beat is knocking. The beat was knocking. Track number 13 was Got the Guap featuring Young Thug. Now, I thought it was fire. It slaps. But I couldn't pretend that it didn't sound like a few other Uzi songs, though. Now, pay, pay attention to this. It sounds just like Venetia to me. It sounds like that. It sound like another song I heard Uzi do. It sound like it sound like three songs I heard from Uzi already. Sound like that. It's not in the plan. I am so high, can't land. Sound like that. The pattern that it's in, the way it's sequenced, it's the same as all these other joints. It just might be a little bit faster or a little bit slower. Track number 14 was Leaders featuring Nav. It was decent. I'm not a, I'm not the biggest Nav fan. I did definitely didn't need him to do like the whole first half of the song. I mean, I thought Uzi wasn't coming at some point. I was like, what? He gave Nav his own track? I don't need that. But it was cool though. It was cool. Like Uzi Uzi had a dope verse. Um, Nav he wasn't he wasn't bad. He actually flowed. The beat was hard. He flowed. I think they caught a nice little flow together. They didn't sound bad together. I actually like the songs they do together. Um. I rock with it. So now I get to the end of the album, the end of the Lil Uzi Vert versus the world two. I get to the end of it and I'm like, yo, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Off of first listen, this is harder than Eternal would take. Off of first listen, it's just way better. I'm 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 more hype for the songs. I listen to like I'm I'm gonna really be wanting to listen to this more. I don't gotta force it. I don't feel like I gotta force myself to like any of the tracks like i literally wanted these tracks and i got them and so he even threw bonuses on this is fire i mean out of 14 tracks there's literally not one bad song literally it's not one bad song the only thing is some of the songs might not hit that hard the songs are still dope nonetheless and if you want to if we're going like out of 14 tracks this is at least 13 strong as opposed to when you get to Eternal Take off of first listen, I was like, ah, it's a lot of joints that I'm not too hyped to go back to. After a week of listening to it, I'm gonna keep it real. I still pretty much feel the exact same way as I felt last week. I had to get over the fact that I didn't get a lot of the snippets that I wanted. I got o I got over that and I listened to it with a clean ear. Like, okay, I'm not expecting them joints. Like, I, I know they're not on here. Cool, let's listen to the album for what it is. And when I listen, it's it's dope it's a good album it's better than like if you name one of your favorite rappers and you be like yo what's the name just dropped his album last week it's just fire you gotta listen to this i can guarantee you this is better than that 
I can guarantee it. If he deprives us of music for the next three years again, I feel like that's when I'm gonna appreciate Eternal It Takes so much more. Which I thought it was gonna work this time, but it just didn't hit right. I feel like over the next two years, when I like when I feel like he ain't dropped something in so long, I'm like, when the hell he gonna drop again? And then I start getting into this zone where I wanna listen to all Uzi music until like you know just to hold me over until he um until he drops that's when i feel like eternal will take gonna hit me like i'm gonna listen to all the songs i ain't really rock with like that i'm gonna listen to him again i'm gonna be like yo i ain't gonna lie i'm sorry it's hard like why ain't i appreciate it because when i'm deprived of music by him that's when the songs hit hard he might have to take two years off again just to make me rock with this like the whole way you know what i mean but when you add um, the deluxe to it, I think that puts a different spin on it. Now, now we talking. I feel like he should have just made this the original album. Like, if he would have put this out as the original album, I would have been hyped. If he would have just had all 14 of those tracks and he would have just added Low Main, Silly Watch, You Better Move, Homecoming, Bigger Than Life, Prices, if he would have just added them and then the bonus tracks would have still been Footsu Shuffle and that way, oh, man, that boy would have had a classic. Don't get it twisted. He's still about to have a year on lock. The boy just did 300K, over 300K first week. Let's not get it twisted. I feel like he could have waited on this though. I feel like he, if he wanted to do a couple of bonus tracks, he could have just put like the three or four, but he did a whole nother album. I feel like he could have waited a little bit for that and separated them. I feel like he was really nervous about this album. Like he really was thinking like, yo, I hope this album hits right. I hope it lives up to the expectations. And I know a lot of his songs was getting leaked. So he had to like redo so many songs. Like, like let me just do something else and throw this on. I get it. Eternal would take, I, I see he got a lot of great reviews on it. But I know he sees the reviews where people was like, oh man, we disappointed. We thought you was gonna put the one snippet on this one. And I think he's seen that like, oh, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't want them to get disappointed. Like he he wanted to make sure we were still hype. We still hype off Eternal Take, but like he knew that we still really wanted, you know what I mean? The other joints too. And I feel like he wasn't prepared though. He thought we was gonna forget about them joints or something. But like when he seen people was snapping, like why you ain't put, why you ain't put the other joints on there? Why you ain't put all them snippets on there? I think it hit him like, oh, shoot, they want them joints still. I, this album ain't hitting hard enough to get them off of them tracks. Let me hurry up and throw them out. And I knew, I could tell, because when he was like, yeah, y'all didn't know, but I had a two, a double album. It's two and one. Yeah, y'all didn't know that. Nigga, you didn't know it either. I, I don't think he had that plan. He ain't playing that. I could tell because the songs ain't mixed. He ain't ready. He was not ready. He said, oh, shit, they want them joints. Yo, Go in the folder and grab them. We got to have them out by Friday. Like, he was nervous with it. You know what I mean? He, it was spur of the moment. He, he knew we still wanted them snippets. He was like, all right, let's put this together now. The album cover, like, the artwork he put out, it's exactly like Lil Uzi Vert versus the world. It's that. It's just with the black John behind it. Like, a fan did that John. It don't look real. It's cool. It's cool. It's just like the original one. But, like... It just feel like rushed a little bit. Like he ain't put no too much effort into it. It still got Britney on the top of his head. He ain't brought Britney since like Love Is Rage 2 in 2017. It's just like, yo, you ain't even with her no more. You just put something together, nigga. Throw it out. It's like, I can just see a little, little details on peeping. Like he rushed. But I ride with the album. I ride with it. I want to hear y'all opinions. Tell me what y'all think in the comment section below. What's y'all favorite tracks? Do y'all like Lil Uzi Vert vs. The World better than Eternal Take? Or do you like Eternal Take the regular John better? Are you disappointed by anything? Did y'all get the snippets y'all wanted? Real Uzi fans comment. Did y'all get the snippets y'all wanted? Because I got the ones I wanted. Um, And when you got them, did they hit the way you wanted them to? That's my question. Did they hit the way you went up to? Like, did they live up to the expectations? That's what I want to talk about. Um, but yeah, y'all comment below. Let me know what y'all think. Um, hit the thumbs up if you didn't already. Subscribe if you didn't already. It's your boy, New Air Mar. I'm out. Peace.